So uh, for those of you who don't know, this here is a very special King Cobra to me. His name is Goliath. Look how big that head is. That'll give you an idea. I'm, I'm going to change my mind of this video. <laughs> he is a magnificent snake. How's it good? Look at that. He's enormous. Isn't he He's cool? Freaking enormous. A little bit of me now? Yes! Coconut cow! King Cobra! What's happening, Dingo here? Guys, today the poo is hitting the fan. I'm letting you in on a little secret here. One of my favorite snakes is making his way to the US of A, Florida in particular. Even worse than that, Jupiter, Florida, with this guy over here, my buddy Carl. How you doing, guys? Now, if you don't know who this man is and you don't know Ryan, you've got a primitive predators. Links down below. Crocodilian experts, guys. Some of the most beautiful croc enclosures you've ever seen in your life. Magnificent crocs, and we've become we become good mates, and we visit each other. There's a bromance going on. <laughs> Every two months, we have to visit each other around the world because uh, I really appreciate this man. I love the way he looks after his animals, bro. It's absolutely amazing. It's inspiring. Absolutely love it. I love it too. And I love having him in Africa, and they also keep a whole bunch of snakes. He's known as Crocodile Carl, but they've got some beautiful <laughs> snakes and they're gonna have another beautiful snake joining him soon. I'm gonna show you who he is first. Then we're gonna hand him over to Carl oh, no. as a little bit of a, as a little bit of a kind of a pre-run into it. Sure, okay. What do you think, Carl? I'll have the glove, you just have the hook stick. So uh, for those of you who don't know, this here is a very special King Cobra to me. His name is Goliath. And of the kings we've got, he's right up there. Look at the size of his head. Look at that head. He's massive. And uh, he is one of the biggest kings we've got here. He's also a little bit grumpy, especially when he's in his enclosure. Um, and uh, this is a decision that I have been wrestling with for months now. Because I love Goliath. He's like one of my children. Look at this. Look, at this. look how big that head is. That'll give you an idea. Um, the guys came over here, Carl and Ryan, in July, August, that kind of time. And they saw Goliath and they thought, you know what? This would be an incredible snake to have back in Florida as an ambassador animal. Whoa, my buddy. As an ambassador animal to, sh to show people how amazing these are. And I love the way these guys look after their animals. There's very few people in the world I would send Goliath to besides these guys. So we are doing an amazing trade. I'm not gonna tell you what's coming this way because uh, you can imagine it's really special if I'm willing to get rid of this guy here. But he's a great snake. Let me show you how big he is. Carl, what do you think? What do I think? I'm the crocodile expert. I'm the <laughs> snake expert. Isn't he and cool? you're putting this thing in my... Oh. Bro, take uh, your tail. Take that thing. I'm going to jump over. Yeah, I was going to say, where are you going to go? I'm going to go like that. All right. I'm going to get him up. Putting it... He's better at putting outside. When he's inside here, he likes moving around quite a lot. So, let me try to get him like this. Hello, oh, where are you going? Look, he's trying to make it outside the room. He is a magnificent snake. We had him outside earlier, and I still don't think we had enough space even in that massive area. <laughs> and here we are in the same room. So yeah. Man, you guys got big plans for him, right? How's it good? Look at that. He's enormous. Isn't he He's cool? Freaking enormous. Now, I'm gonna pass him over to you because now he just wants to climb and stuff. So you can hold him just like that. So if he comes up, I'll grab him. Has it, has it, and I can lift him off the ground now. You feel his weight. You've got him in the basket. So outside, when he's on the grass, you touch him and he's coming back at you. Yeah. Here, for some reason, he likes going forward. He doesn't come back to him as much. So yeah, he really can, doesn't. Because that's the thing, is outside, you did that. He, yeah. He was so here, out. you can do this. But if his head comes up at you, like if I hold him here, he'll, his head will come back at me sometime. And he just wants to climb away. Yeah. That's what's great about here. You can even hold him over there if you want. Come with him, bro. How heavy is that snake, bro? Yes! Crocodile Carl! King Cobra! So I must tell you, Carl, what Carl's handy there. Tell me if you need me, but he's a professional. He is a he's... lot more of a joy to work with in here than outside. <laughs> outside, he was freaking ballistic. <laughs> now, you guys aren't allowed taking your snakes outside anyway, huh? Not the anymore. Exotics. We, we could until. Uh, we got shut down, even though we didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, for sure. So you won't have that outside problem with him. Yeah. How's that? I'm taking you in now, guys. 
There he is. Hello, my boy. It's just How you doing? To work with the snake. Hey, buddy. You really can't work with snake hooks. You know, you have to no. really work with him like this because he's such a massive snake. How's that? Cow, look at this. This is a, a view into your future, bro. <laughs> hey? So this has been one of the most difficult. Dick, he's coming. He's getting ready to come for me now. Decisions of my life. Because I love this snake. I love him with all of my heart. But I know where he's going. I know he'll be used to show people how incredible these animals are. How's this head, bro? Look at it. Hey, it's just, it's like a shark's head. Look how it's just, he's opening his mouth. Oh, look at me now. Woohoo! Now, the fortunate thing about these guys. They let you get away with a lot. So there, he was telling me the whole time, he's going to come, he's going to come. See what he's doing now? You know that rush he did at you on the grass? Yeah. He's getting ready to do yeah. that, but right. he can't do it on this surface as well. So he's getting ready. He'll lunge at me soon. You got the tail, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Hello, boy. Hello. Hello, my boy. Look how high he is. What a Look magnificent sound. I'm, I'm going to change my mind if this video carries on any longer. <laughs> Guys, how's this snake? Now he probably will come. No, now he's off. You see his modes changed. So he was defensive. If I touched him then, he would have come back at us. Now he should go away. Isn't that cool? Guys, put your comments down below. What do you think about Goliath going to Carl back over in Florida? Where many of you can come see him too. There we go. Well, that's great. I mean, when I come over, I can come see him as well. For sure. We're over there in September again next year, so we'll come we the way Ryan and I do it, you know, we build it big. So we'll build him a massive enclosure for him. That's it. Hey, my boy. You have such a man here, my come back. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're going to come back. <laughs> so, guys, that's where we're going to end it off. Woo! With King Cobras. <laughs> Isn't that cool? We'll see you next time. Follow these guys. And I can't wait to show you this snake all the way in Jupiter in Florida, USL Bay. See you next time. Thank you guys. Right.